Hey guys, today we're back out working on another Addison unit. This is one that I had diagnosed um, bad outside air uh, humidity sensor. Got the new part here. And I just shut down the machine because it was still running. It operates off of uh, zone air temp and humidity. So I'll show you. We still had an alarm. I actually was, the original call was to put this uh, interface in. So now I can actually see what's going on, but you'll see there outside air, relative humidity failure back in November. Just got the part in. So we're going to take a look, go into setup and where was it? Let's see. Calibration. The algorithm takes a little time to load. So you can see the zone, relative humidity is fine. It's 45%. Zone air temp, 69. But if I scroll down, find our outside air, relative humidity, 0.1%. And it's dry out here but it's not that dry outside air temp it's reading 71.7 and uh, when I looked up the instructions for this I tell you this thing needs to be mounted on the north facing wall of the unit I don't know why but we are actually facing This is south, so uh, yeah, they're not going to get their wishes there. But uh, anyways, we're going to take that off, install the new one. It does look a little different. Um, it is the correct part number for replacement. HS OSA three twenty four. So, so let's get that one old one off and uh, swap that out. We've got 24 volts DC there, so I'm going to go ahead and power off the unit and uh, we'll swap that out. Good to go. Alright guys, so uh, there is one kind of a big difference. Uh, the temperature sensor on this controller is integrated, so it took a little head scratching to figure out what they wanted because the wiring diagram was not clear at all. So ended up having to run the jumper from common to the sensor and our feedback to the controller on the other side so where before they had this into uh, a Wago connector on a green wire and the white hooked to the common so uh, the only difference you know it's just packaging and uh, less wire so it would have been nice if they showed throw the jumper on there and wire right, it that way but anyways it does seem to be working I did take it out of the sun because uh, I see why they don't want it on the south side now because it's hotter over there 83 degrees I'm just testing this before I button it all up our relative humidity outside is showing 32.6 but 
that was sitting in the direct sunlight. So I'm gonna try and move it up. Um, I can tuck it up here some more because it was sitting down here. And as you can see, the sun was hitting. Where is it? The other sensor was right there. So yeah, let's try and reposition that and I power everything back off. Get this tidied up, wired back in. I am going to have to drill a knockout, it looks like, or uh, come up with different mounting. But we'll get it done. All right. Also, one more thing. Make sure you have your selector on voltage. We're using 0 to 10 for the dip switch. That's uh, switch number 1 is our 10 volt. And also the output voltage. We are using volts, not the lamps. And it, I believe it came with set on milliamps. So let's see. Um, I just ran it through the factory hole and we'll button that up. And I'm gonna get it mounted up here somewhere. I didn't really want to drill another hole in that enclosure there. Yeah. All right, so I'm just screwed it into there for now um i didn't see a better place to install it for right now but it does make sense not to put it in the sun absolutely makes sense and we are facing south right now there is mr sun so, all right so now we can power back up this thing takes uh, at least five minutes to power up the interface so we're gonna take a brief intermission here okay we are attempting to communicate with device went ahead and uh, put the EMS relay back in so we can get this back up and going now let's see if we can find oh, password one second here okay we're back all right so we go back into our calibration scroll down come on now let's go back Try it again, setup, calibration. There we go. All right, let's see. That went too far. So our outside air temp now is 76.3, which is getting better. I had 71, 70 degrees underneath there. And humidity, 41.4%. So definitely looking better. We're going to uh, let that acclimate, let this thing run, and then I'll come back and check it out. And definitely hear it ramping up here. No compressors yet. That's just the indoor blower. Yeah, I like these, on these units line dryers nice and easy to get to unlike that other little one and um, no micro channel coils go figure all right so currently our zone air temp is uh, 74.3 so and only raised to four degrees and humidity went to 57 which uh, would make sense it's a kitchen so Humidity is on the rise there. Help is on the way, don't worry. All right, as you can see, there's uh, no current alarms, occupied, and it should start cooling here shortly. This thing takes forever to load up and get going. All right, first stage just came online. Oh yeah.
All right, so our latest cooling stage one is on. Our uh, zone temp was 74. Humidity jumped up to 67. And our supply air temp right there went to 57.8. Definitely uh, getting a little higher, there, but it's the, it's gonna it's gonna drop. There it is. All right, makes total sense. We were still about eight minutes or so away on the timeout for stage two, so I'm uh, happy with it. Uh, seems like it's gonna be uh, doing well for the uh, relative humidity the outside. Hopefully if you were alarms now. But. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up, get on to the next job. Uh, like I said, I'll come back later and check on that and calibrate it if I need to. But it seems like it's heading in the right direction now. So just remember, keep it out of the sun. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.